if someone hacks your Wi-Fi, um, they can attack your computer through DHCP. And so um, when I'm talking about VMware and it having its own DHCP server, um, it's significant, especially if you are on public internet. So if you were at Starbucks and you want to use the internet, using um, VMware would be very similar to having a VPN, but not really. But because, but but it is kind of if Microsoft is doing its own encryption or Google is doing its own encryption or your web browser is doing its own encryption. Because my understanding is that the web browser, like the, the company, is that significant in um, determining encryption levels. And that encrypted data is going to be inside a packet no matter what. And so um, if, if, if that's your concern um, primarily, then that's good to know. But um, a lot of people are concerned about people knowing where their traffic's going at all, which um, I understand that. And for that, you have to go hire someone to hire someone that's good enough to create 802.1x. And the thing is, I think if you're on a network where you're wired and you're doing uh, MAC address filtering on layer two um, and your DHCP servers on the network, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not that. I mean, it really, really, really depends. Everything depends. And that's, that's the thing about everything depends. And that's why you have to have a lot of people thinking about a network, not just one person, probably if it's that big of a deal.